my spores it's hey Keisha and I'm here to do another video for you guys and it's all about testimonies on this channel or everything that God has done for me and like all my miracles that God has worked in my life and it's all about that on this channel channel so if it's your first time here please go ahead and subscribe I'm here to feed you guys spirit with miracles and all the good things that God has done for me and he can do the same for you. Stay tuned. So guys, today I'm going to talk about a job that I got like years ago and how, you know, God... <laughs> God has worked miracles, miracles on top of miracles in my life. And I'm pretty sure he has been working the same thing in your life, but sometimes we are so busy going about our days and not realizing it is because of him things happen. Things only happen because of him. He he would he came here to give us life and life more abundantly. The devil is here to destroy life. He's here to steal and to destroy. So when good things happen to you, like successful things happen to you, things that make you wonder how, it only can be God. I'm gonna share this one with you. I started working at this place, Bell Canada, and it is one of the biggest, mo at the time, you know, I was young, it's one of the place that everyone really wanted to get into. They pay really well, location was just perfect, and it was the most perfect job at the time for me. And I went there and during that time you have to be trained and I believe it was a six week training and every week there is a test that you get. And if you don't pass the test, then they let you go because you're not qualified for the job. And so I, the first week I did my test, I didn't pass, they didn't let me go, everyone else that didn't pass, they got let go. Second week, did my test, I didn't pass, everyone else like it. that didn't pass, get let go. Third week, the same thing. And I was like, okay, I don't know why I'm still here, but God knows why he's, well, I'm still here. I'm a prior warrior. I prayed. I may look on Instagram that I, like, I don't pray. I, you may see me on the street and I may look like a person that doesn't pray, but I have a relationship with God. And that's the best thing that you can have. Just getting baptized and call yourself a Christian, that's not it. God needs a relationship with us, a relationship with us. He doesn't care about religion. He needs to have a relationship with us. And that's what I have with him. And so the fourth week, I didn't pass. People that didn't pass got let go. The fifth week, I didn't pass. And people got let go. I was still there. I think I got a warning though on the fifth week. The fifth week, I got a warning that if I don't pass, you know, they've given me so many chance they may have to let me go. So I'm like, okay, so like the sixth week, now the last week of training, whew, I have to pull up my stuff, my, my socks. I need to retain stuff. I need to, whenever I do this test, that I'm able to pass it because I've failed everything so far. And the sixth week, guess what? Keisha did not pass. I did not pass my test. I thought that was it. Well, I didn't think that was it. All of my other friends that I met during that six week period that we get to know each other, we were like, they were like, okay, let's exchange number. You're not gonna long, no longer gonna be here. We'll keep in touch, blah, 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 blah. And I remember there was this one guy named Scott. And I look at Scott and I'm like, Scott, my God is not gonna bring me this far. He's not gonna allow me to fail all those tests. Five weeks ago, I never get let go. And the one last test that I fail, I'm going to get let go. He's not gonna bring me this far and turn his back on me. And they called me in and Scott was so worried and Nicole and everyone that I was working with, they were so worried because they were like, okay, she didn't make it, she didn't make it. We're not gonna get to know this wonderful person. And I went in and they were like, you know what? You didn't pass any of the tests that we gave you for the last six weeks. But there is just something that tells me that you have the potential and I just, cannot let you go I, I can see something in inside of you and you're so well loved and everybody loves you so you know what we're gonna hold on on you for a little bit longer and give you a chance yes i last at that place for 10 years after 10 years when god decided that your time is up i 
I, it was that that place that bought my first house. I feel like a f that's where I met my hubby. That's where all of my kids was born. That's where I go on my mat leave. I spent the last 10 years, not the last 10 years, but I was there for 10 years. And I never got let go. I was, I became a trainer. I started training people there also. And so when God said it is for you, it is for you. No one can take that away from you. No one, no one. When something is for you, it is for you. And when he puts you in a position, he puts you there. And no one cannot remove you or less he is about to promote you. And it's through promotion that I was able to leave that place. And when I got let go about a month after, they let go everyone from the call center. Everyone got let go. So, but we still keep in touch. We're still friends. We're, we still, if, if anyone's having a party, a death, anything, we're there for each other. It's like we build a community. So that's my story. That's my story. When God put you in position, no one can take you out of that position. Remember that. Even if there's a storm, even if there's a weapon that form, it cannot prosper. No one cannot remove you or let God decide you have completed your assignment and it is done and I'm going to take you from here and promote you somewhere else. So that is it for me today. Hope you guys have a great day, a great week and a great month. See you in my next video and hello, 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 hello. Don't forget to head over to my website and get you some of my guides and my, you know, my fasting guides, my finding your purpose guides. And I do have an ebook that I wrote and I have one coming. And you know, it's everything there is less than, less than $10. The only thing there that is a little bit more than that, a little bit, that is way more than $10, but I still keep it low is for those people that wants to start their own business. If you need to start your own business, I do have templates and I do have a lot of training materials that you can purchase from the website also and I can send it over to you guys. So go ahead and check out my website. Hope you guys have a great day, a great week and a great month. See you in my next video.